Okay, well, it continues to be big disc week at Retro Battle Stations. And, uh, well, this doesn't count because it's a drum. It's not a disc. But I figured, hey, I'm working on the Bendix today. So uh, I need to move the uh, these two big chokes um, to mount the... Uh, these casters that I talked about in the previous video. And yeah, I've got my work light here, and wow, this thing is bright. Um, but hey, now you can see stuff. Anyway, I uh, opened up the drum. Actually, the drum was open, and uh, the other piece of the casting is uh, elsewhere. That has the heads and such like that. But I figured, you know what, I'm going to inspect and just to do a very quick preliminary cleaning of the drum. And so I did. Uh, using some uh, some damp lint uh, lint free cloth and a tiny tiny amount of detergent. Um, I've heard that uh, these Bendix drums are really really tough. However, I'm not gonna push my luck because yeah, these things uh, yeah, they ain't common. And uh, much to my surprise, things aren't as bad as they seem to be. Uh, if you recall, I don't know if I said this, but when I found this machine, the cover was off and kind of flopping in the breeze and digging up the uh, the uh, drum face. And the birds had gotten all over the place and uh, did their business. And there's just it, there's a lot of bad news all over this machine and it's going to need a lot of cleaning. So I kind of wrote the drum off. Now I'm not so certain. Now that I've cleaned it, I'm not so certain. So, just taking a look. It's actually not too bad. It's not too scored. Now, I don't know if you can see right about here. You might see uh, some scratches. That's where it was. the uh, cover was kind of flopping around in the breeze. And uh, there are some surface scratches there. Now there's also some stuff here. I don't know if that's some bird poop I didn't get off or, or if it's corrosion coming through. I'm hoping it's bird poop. But yeah, there are some visible dings. But in general, this drum is not too bad. Uh, I've seen Bendix drums that are a whole lot more scored than this. Uh, it's just that Stuff like that scares me. Stuff like that scares me. You know, it's I got to think with something this big or with these scratches here, there's got to be at least a few tracks that are, are affected. Um, we'll just have to see. I've heard these things are tough as nails. Um, we'll see. Uh, I still... I don't know if I want to put odds on, on this drum working ever again or not, but... I think previously I thought it was zero chance. Now I think, I don't know, maybe a 25% chance this thing can actually be restored to actually working. I think spins fairly nicely. So uh, the motor, uh, the bearings seem, seem okay. There seems to be absolutely no play in the thing. So, yeah. Well, it turns out I'm actually, because I have to move these, these chokes out of the way, and you can see this thing is just awful uh lots of rust and bird poop and such like that i think i may just strip out everything out of the base here uh i'm gonna have to certain amount anyway uh this thing which is i think those are the other read right head uh amps um i'm gonna have to get in there and really scrub that thing down i have to test the uh, the head assembly which i think it fits uh there i think the head's plug in there and there's a, a, a cable and there's a big casting which uh i'll get around to looking looking at that yeah and that's another thing i'm hoping all the heads are good we'll see uh anyway uh, i'm working on this thing today i'm going to try and finally get these casters in place um someone uh subscriber said that they should have the correct casters with them uh, I'd like to get pictures of that, because if you have the real, real, real casters for, for one of these Bendix machines, I'd love to talk to you. So, yes, you know who you are. Please, please send a picture. Um, that's about it. 
and uh, that way I can get this thing uh, back on the ground. And, uh, well, don't know uh, how fast this uh, project's going to go because it's a big one. But, hey, every little bit counts. And, yeah, someone did ask me once about the tubes. This thing uses about 350 tubes. And um, I actually have, well, if you saw my very first video on YouTube, you know, you guys know that I have a whole lot of tubes. I actually could probably retube completely, and I'm not exaggerating here one bit. I could probably retube completely at least 10 Bendix machines of uh, these G15s. They, they, there's three types of tubes used in the thing, uh, the things, and... Uh, yeah, like like these, the double triodes, uh, 5965s. I have thousands of those things. Probably probably thousands of those things. I have flats and flats, a hundred e hundreds each. Uh, 6197s uh, are also pretty common, and the 2D21 thyrotrons, which are used, I think, only for the paper tape punch. Cripes, uh, I I probably have a thousand of those things as well. So re retubing this thing is not an issue. Uh, tedious, yeah, testing all the things, getting the right ones, but uh, retubing it, get uh, obtaining the tubes, they're, they're, I've got them. Okay, well, here we are. It's the drum. Not as bad as I thought, but not great. So we'll just have to see. So, yep, another step in the G15 saga. Okay, well, leave a like, share the video, subscribe. Whatever. Hope you like it. See you later. Bye.